All right, let's look at code spaces. So remote dev environments, go into code. I'll just pull this open. Now what we're gonna do is actually uh, open up a, you know, um, this, we're gonna open up this uh, repo inside of a, uh, a container, actually, a, a, a dev environment. All right. And uh, and then we'll be in inside of a code spaces there. All right. Now, while that's working, I'm going to show you, well, Okay, it did it pretty quick, so we'll just jump in there. All right, so this code space is based on the default image. So it doesn't have what I need it in there. I'm gonna go like this, Astro version. Yeah, it doesn't know what that is. So what I'll say is uh, Command Shift P add you know the uh, configuration based on docker compose and then rebuild and we'll look at that docker compose well actually what we'll do is we'll look at it in here it's going to take a minute to build this um, okay so this is what it looks like so just docker compose.yaml services i'm calling it astro because it's like yeah it's something Build Astro is the folder, and then we're gonna open it up with privileged. The we're gonna get we, we have privileged access in the container. Mean meaning you can like start and stop services. We'll start we'll start Docker. We'll run we'll run Docker in Docker, and then we'll map the drive. Um, okay, so then in this folder, this is where the build happens. You use this Docker file. So this Docker file is gonna be based on universal. Uh, uh, code spaces universal so it's got everything in it Java uh, Python node uh, I'm not sure it might even have go I'm not sure uh, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna run basically install astronomer and this uh, dbt connector and then copy everything into the workspace directory and then we'll uh, we'll run the commands that we need to run in order to, uh, to orchestrate the uh, the airflow um, orchestration tool. Well, Astro will orchestrate uh, airflow, which is an orchestrator. So it's orchestrating the orchestrator, basically um, various levels to it. So. Um, and I'll show you how we can do that. But in the meantime, <clears throat> I will open up a code thing here, no local, and I'll show you where the, uh, let's see here, do, 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 Images we've got here. So this one, code space is universal, and then this one is like for this is the universal one, and then this one's got Astro in it. So we could hop into this one. Uh, I don't even know if we've got a container run. We could start. We could start that and hop into it, or we could just do like this. We'll say. Um, uh, well, container not attached to running container, but reopen in container, and that will open this local. Basically, this is uh, um, this is the 
this is the uh, the git. Let's say reopen the container. This is the git uh, clone to my local repo, and then uh, I'm just going to open this in a container, and we'll run Astro. Uh, we'll we'll run Astro in a container, and it'll spawn containers. So Docker and Docker with privilege. It's you need uh, you need to hit the privilege flag in order for that to work. So um, on the command line, it looks like this: Docker run interactive terminal, and it just means like start and stop stuff. RM just means remove it when it's done. Dash dash privileged is equivalent to saying privileged true. In so Docker compose. So this is Docker command line, which we're not using. This is Docker compose. So boom, privilege true, privilege true, and then here's the. And then here's the, the image that we'll be running. So it's a Microsoft image for VS Code, dev container, universal. It's got everything in it. It's like 10, 10 gigabytes. So um, one thing is while these are firing up here, um, if you're having trouble with uh, like installing uh, softwares, like for example, uh, the stuff that this needs, I will. show you like what it's based on if you're having trouble um, it's not because you don't know sysadmin stuff and not because you're not good enough with docker it's because the uh, the containers are are um, like uh, they're they're shisty like they're they're not uh, powerful enough you need you need you need more you you need to um, add more features in order for it to like work properly so don't don't blame yourself. So let's just get Astro's version. Make sure we still have that. Oh, there we go. Okay. So it's mapped to workspace. So let's go CD to Astro and project and say Astro dev start. Just make sure that, that is the actual uh, command. It's Astro dev start. Astro dev start. Yeah. So let's do that. Okay, so this is spawning all of the uh, containers that are required to run Astro. Astronomer, yeah, Astro is a astronomer for short, and it it uh, orchestrates um, it orchestrates uh, uh, it orchestrates an orchestration tool for for like data pipelines called. Uh, uh, this is escaping me. Okay, so this is uh, the the code space. Is, uh, this is the code space one version. This is um, basically it's it's here um, being open instead of a web browser. It's opening in your local browser. Okay, and then this is the local version and in a container which is on uh, uh, doc in here. Okay, so that this one is here. This one is in here. Okay, so this, if I duplicate this, I take a look, show you where this is. We go into your code spaces. Okay, this one and this one. Okay, this chainsaw one, whatever, it's four cores. This one's four cores. Okay, it'll stop after half an hour. They charge you like uh, 15 cents every hour or something like that. And you just tell them to shut down if you're not using it. Get charged too much, but anyways, uh, this will charge you. Um, uh, Octeto doesn't charge you, but you can't uh, you can't get privileged access uh, in Octeto, so you can't run Docker and Docker. As far as I know, I'll I'll update this uh, or make another video if I'm wrong. Okay, so uh, we got okay. Airflow is what it's called. So you get a web server, the UI, a localhost 8080, and uh, you sign in, it's admin, admin, so we'll say admin, admin, and then you get these DAGs, so that's like a diagram we can like say, let's, uh, let's say, let's look at this basic diagram here, and then we'll go to the graph, and it'll show us that what this is doing is it's mapping out some, uh, oh, 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 oh. 
Okay, it's mapping out extract, transform, and load. Okay, jobs, whatever. Okay, so that's what this does, and uh, so that that so that's the um, code spaces one, and then so this shows you like. The ports that are mapped. Usually, you would have to like map the ports inside of the Docker Compose ports, eighty eighty, whatever. But but the way this works, you don't have to. Like it just it'll automatically do it for you, which is kind of cool. Um. So yeah, we just went eighty eighty and then open here, open your browser, boom, and we got that. Okay. And then uh, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna shut this down. So I'm just gonna say uh. Astro dev stop, I think, or yeah, okay, Astro dev stop. So this is just Astro dev, Astro, it, Astro dev is a, a wrapper around Docker Compose. So it'd be like saying Docker Compose up, Astro dev start, Docker Compose down, Astro dev stop. 